of the things in Know Thy Purpose is really about core values. How many of you work for an organization or run an organization that has a core values list? It's on the wall. It's on the wall? Good, excellent. Can your employees recite it back? Excellent. Um, great percentage in this room, okay, in terms of who can do it. One of the best uh, core values statements I've ever heard or ever seen is I work with a guy named Bill Hobbs at Urban Youth Impact, fantastic organization. Um, sorry. Oh, great, thank you. Perfect. If anyone needs another one, thank you so much. Bill Hobbs runs an organization called Urban Youth Impact, a fantastic organization, and his core values are three letters, GPS. Did you love that? GPS, where are we at, where are we going, navigation, God-centered, passion-driven, servant leadership. That's it. Some of the best core values I've ever seen. They got t-shirts made up. It's fantastic. You can ask anybody of his staff, I think it's 20-something staff, maybe 15, They'll tell you exactly what the core values are. G, P, S, boom, 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 okay? So core values is a great way to start to communicate your purpose and how you do things. The nice thing about core values is it tells your employees how we're gonna do stuff. It gives them a, it gives them a range and a box for how to do it. Next is vision mission. Real quickly, a vision is, if you're a growing company, I like the three-year vivid description, right? But a broader view of a vision is, what is it we wanna accomplish? I ask a lot of entrepreneurs that I work with, what can you be the best in the world at, realistically? What can you be the best in the world at? If you're the, if you're the person, or if you run a team, what can our team be the best in the world at? What a fantastic you know, exercise. Because I, I poke on them, you can't be the best in the world at that. What about that guy, what about Covey? What about, you know what I mean, what about that guy? You gotta really think it through. And to me, that's passion driven, that's purpose driven, right? What is my true passion? What can I be the best in the world at? It's wonderful to build a vision for your team, your department, your company that centers in on that because that's why people want to get up and come to work. They want to be a team. They want to be a team. Whether you love them or hate them, the Yankees are pretty good. There's a couple of sporting, you know, there's a couple of sports teams out there that that's their standard, the best in the world. You don't think every other athlete wants to play for that team? Okay. It's a great way to attract and retain employees if every single employee or associate in your company recognizes that you're trying to be the best in the world at something, fantastic way to motivate and drive culture, okay? Vision, mission. I would submit that 90% of the mission statements in the world uh, are really bad. In fact, I wrote a blog called, you know, why your mission statement sucks, excuse the, okay? <laughs> but most of them are really, really, really bad, okay? I mean, it's platitudes, you know, they use the word synergy a lot, you know, there's all these like really weird words. A mission is really simply, what do we do? which most people get, you know, they say we're a service provider of X, Y, Z, or we're a plumbing company or whatever, but what, where they really fall down is why we do it. I think most mission statements, the best mission statements I've ever seen are the what do we do and why do we do it. 